Hi, I'm Alison Pryor and I teach acrylic paintings and drawings for beginners and all levels. And today I'm going to show you how to paint a beautiful husky. Now this is the, the reference photo we're going to use. So the reference photo I put on my canvas and I'm going to show you how to transfer this to your canvas so we can get started painting. So I want to bring out some more fur, make it nice and furry looking. So I'm just going to take my long liner brush and I'm going to start putting on some extra fur and I'll make it thicker looking. Here we go. Wet your brush, put in white. After I get this part, never mind. Never mind, then forget it. All right. <coughs> Sorry. Leave it. So we'll just add some more highlights, some more fur. Just picking up my white on my flat brush. So you won't do a big lot, we'll just add a few little touch-ups here and there. Just to thicken up that fur. See how thick it looks now? There we go. Nice and furry looking. Just using the chisel edge in my brush. Hardly see it, but you can actually see it um, thickening up a bit better. some furry and take a long liner brush and add some extra strokes the more you layer the better it looks Nice round look. It's 
See how nicely it's starting to really thicken up that fur. Just short strokes. Lots of paint, keep reloading. Keep reloading. Add water if you have to. So for there and here. Nice. Nice and furry. I'm gonna add a little bit of with the flat brush. I'm going to my black. I'm going to my black and take us nice fur here. Just to make it look like there's fur going inside there and here. Like I said, it's not exactly the same as the reference photo, but I'm going to do it the way I feel that's comfortable for me and what I like. And so that's what you're going to do. You want more fur going out here, put it in. If you feel it looks good. Right, get those nice edges there. I'm using chisel edge so that you can get that nice pointy edges to make it look like fur. See that nice furry look? It looks nice there. I won't touch that, I don't think. I think maybe here might need it. Keep reloading. Kind of like really furry looking. <laughs>
leaves. I think I'm going to brighten up the tongue a little bit. So I'm going to use white and red. better. Just make a pinkish color so you can get it brighter because it's kind of a bit dull. You still want those shadows there though. Just using a round brush, but you can use whatever works for you. I'll brighten it a little bit more. I'll add more white to my pink. Add a little bit of a highlight here. And on the edges. Smooth that in. Keep that dark shadow a little bit. If you lose your shadow, just put in a little bit of darker uh, purplish color. Purple, and that'll bring back. But I think that's better. Now you can see the tongue better, see? Yep, so get as bright as you want. here in the center because that will make it more round looking so just blend that in there blend it in so that you still got those shadows and just wipe off your brush and then blend in what you have there that gives it a round look So like I say, if you end up losing your shadows, just get the purple color and add the dark color. Yes, just if you lose it, just get your purple color, more red than blue, that way it can stay with, within the same color. And then you just put it on here like this. Now while it's wet, then you scrub it on. So you put it on there again, and then a little bit on the bottom just to, for shadow. See, when it's dark on the edges here and light in the middle, in the middle, that will give you uh, a rounded look to the to his tongue. So just get another brush, clean brush, and then blend that in. Just get a clean brush, probably a clean dry brush. And then just blend that ed those edges in before they dry. If they dry and you just go back in with some wet paint. Like I say, it can be tedious. Tedious. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my brush because it dried up on me. Smaller brush. Add a little bit of water, it'll help move. See how you because you don't want those edges, you want to all blend together nicely so it's like it's all part of one. Move it around a little bit, it's okay. Let's see how it makes the tongue look more, makes it look round. Okay, good. I think that's bright enough. I 
he has whiskers. I'm gonna get my long liner brush, dip it in water, and roll it around in my white paint. Nice messy palette here. So I'm just gonna go in my white, roll it around. Make sure I got a lot, a lot out of there so I can get that to move. So it's got whiskers, so I'm just gonna hope for the best. They don't have to be totally seen because as long as you can see them a bit. Like I said, because I'm standing up, I have to, I go backwards, but you're better off pulling out because see, that's what happens when you pull in. So a few little whiskers. That's all, just pretty simple, just get them in the background there. There's his whiskers. I don't know if they got any of those. All right. Anything else you want to pick at? Just pick at it. Pick at it. Decide what way you want to have it. Now, if you like it, and, and don't pick at it too much because you might end up doing something that you don't like, and then you'll be unhappy. So if you're little furries, you know, so little... F when you bring the white into the black, it gives it that furry look because it's like it's all in one like I said a reference photo is fine but if that dog was moving around or out in the wind then the fur probably would blend more you know so that's about it that's about it you can poke at as much as you want as long as you only if you're you know feel like you need extra don't poke at it too much if you feel they're happy with it, all right? So I'm going to leave it at that. There's your finished husky dog. So I hope you learned a lot about fur. There we go. So see all your parts. One, two, three. And four. <laughs> four is just the finishing touches, okay? So you can put a background in there. That's it. I like this one better here. All right, that's it. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now from Allison Pryor. Bye. Let's add more shadows. If you lost them. with a round brush. There we go. A few more white ones just to fill in some of that dark.
so that is it there we go it's all finished and it looks really good fur came out nice and thick all those layers of colors those beautiful blue eyes they cool the snout came out really good and the mouth and the tongue there we go so i hope you uh, give this a try and i'll see you in the next video bye for now from allison Pryor.